Hey, this is Alpha. I am super excited to show you the latest and greatest from China. We have a day zero release of DeepSeek version 3 by DeepSeek AI. This model is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. It is an open source large language model that can output to a performance comparable or even better than OpenAI and Anthropic. If you stick around this video, I will explain to you the significance of this release, how brands can use it today, and what are some of the best practices around using large language models that are open source like this. So let's get into it. So first of all, we do see it is incredible in that it can generate 60 tokens per second, very quick performance. This video just gives you a sneak peek of what you can expect from it just like we've seen for uh, sort of flash by Google we've seen the GPT 4.0 model by OpenAI or even the cloud model and this model is very quick it can do a lot and I'll show you what the docs show you for their release they do have an API that's available today so you can start using this model and beyond that, they do share a lot of their strategies, methods, and their research. And I'll show you what that looks like as well. So if you look at the official announcement, they compared themselves to open source Quen, Llama 3 by Meta, Claude, and GPT-4. And if we look on the blue column here, we do see this model outcompeting competitors like GPT-3.5, Sonnet, GPT-4.0, across many benchmarks including language code mathematics etc so very impressive to say the least if i show you a couple of things that they mentioned here on their release we do see that this model is a beast it's 671 billion parameters it is a mixture of experts um, just like we've seen mixtral or mistral earlier this year incredible in that it's able to dedicate the task for a specific expert or a specific agent to solve in this case each agent or expert has 37 billion parameters to be able to solve that problem effectively and of course you know this model has been trained on quite a bit of tokens in this case close to 15 trillion tokens incredible here so the model is available on the official um, deep seek ai github page and we do have the paper as well also the api is very flexible very convenient if you want to use it you can they do have a limited time offer for version 8 uh, until rather for february 8th uh, they're able to offer you a discount if you are using their model and i'll show you the competitive nature of this model this model is performing substantially cheaper than Claude 3.5 Sonnet, so definitely keep that in mind as I'll dive into it here. So just a, a quick recap here, DeepSeek on the left, very performant on the top, this is the scale of performance, on the right, this is the scale of cost. So it's as performant as Claude 3.5 Sonnet, especially for coding or mathematics. However, it is substantially cheaper, and this is roughly 10 times cheaper than Claude. If we look at the announcement, as I mentioned, this paper um, use model is valid until the February 8th at a discount. So jump into this opportunity while you can. Um, beyond that, this model is incredible in that it's open source. So all that means is that you're able to um, sort of use this technology comparable to what the players in the space, including OpenAI and Tropic, are doing. But in the spirit of the open source and uh, we do have sort of this push towards AGI as we've seen from other models like reasoning models by OpenAI the O3 release earlier this month is a great example of something that's starting to feel not only agentic but also quite generally intelligent and if we look at some of the other um, elements here of the release I'll just quickly zoom out to show you the significance of this model here so we do have deep seek in a dark blue the areas that send out to me is the performance for benchmarks or tests like code forces 
Uh, on the left here, we have DeepSeq version 3. On the right here, we do have Sonnet 3.5. And that is an incredible leap here. So Code Forces is a coding benchmark. And we do see this Chinese large language model crush the North American Anthropic. So this is very important for all the product development teams, software development teams, or any companies that are building in the space, you can now have an open source competitor that's putting a lot of pressure on the existing language model providers. We do have another benchmark release here, also quite important. This is showing how well the DeepSeq version three is solving the needle in the haystack problem. And that is they're showing that this model performs very well at retrieving the relevant piece of information, uh, given that um, that you're increasing the token size from zero to 120,000 tokens. This is the limit of this model. Uh, so do keep in mind that you can only pass 120,000 tokens. In comparison, uh, Claude 2.5 Sonnet is 200,000, and you know you do have uh, a limitation there. However, this is an open source model, so definitely keep an eye out. The second, uh, the, the last piece of benchmark I wanna drop on you, and that is to look at the Aether leaderboard and see how well this model performs uh, through their polyglot testings, meaning how well this performs on multiple languages and different exercises to be able to solve problems. So you can see here, there is the DeepSeq uh, model here it is coming in second only after the O1 model by um, OpenAI. So this is substantial. It's actually taking a leap on Sonnet 3.5 here. You can see that this is an open source model, of course, and Sonnet is not. So very important milestones for the community, putting a lot of pressure on existing language model providers. Here we have a simple way to use the model. So chat.deepseek.com allows you to ask questions like, what is the current best practice of developing AI agents? And if you hit enter, you're gonna see DeepSeek version three jump in here. And it's streaming roughly at 60 tokens per second. And you do see that, you know, this model is, responding just like you expect from any uh, highly intelligent language model it's giving you concrete um, uh, response or or detailed response rather and if you want you can even be more specific make this more concrete and of course in the spirit of being nice or uh, being kind we do say please and we do see a much more concise response from that language model Couple things I'll mention here about the community's response to this. So Andrew Caprathi, of course, he leads, needs no introduction. He is um, able to bring his sort of share his thoughts on X on this Chinese um, giant, this whale that that came out of nowhere for many, and that I especially didn't expect to be released this quickly, this early. So there, the Chinese team only spent six million dollars. Uh, trained their model for two months and really invested into 2,000 um, high-end sort of AI-optimized graphics processing units, GPUs. And this is incredible because, you know, in comparison to a platform like Meta with the Llama 3 release, you know, they, the DeepSeq team is using less than 10% uh, of that cost. Substantial and highly impressive display of research and engineering under resource constraints, as Andre Carpathi puts it. I do agree with this. Very powerful and very cost-effective model released by the DeepSeek team. Wanted to briefly spotlight their API docs because um, they're quite nice. So they show you how to do multi-round conversations, how to use JSON output from this model, perform function calling, and even context cache or cache the, the responses that you receive and you know it's a simple example if you scroll through you can of course use it 
you do see example here where you have a messages list just like we've seen before from other providers like OpenAI and you define the role being user assistant and you pass in the contact. So you, this is an example of how you can have a conversational experience with a model like this. And of course, for the nature of kind of running through some of these is, you know, you do see something similar to OpenAI. You have a response format being defined as JSON object. And, you know, you can have a system prompt asking for a response and you can simply have the response format be to be a JSON object. So in this case, the response will not be a string as you normally get, but it's simply a JSON that looks like this question with the longest river in the world, enter the Nile River. So if you define the JSON output to this model and you're using the response format, you can get a nice convenient um, sort of uh, a format for how this model can respond. Very effective to do uh, to, to use this strategy uh, when you want to put these systems into production. Function calling is another great example here. You simply define uh, what function um, this model has as a tool, and then you're able to essentially call upon that model and then pass in the tool into that model into the conversational context, which allows the model to use this tool or function to perform any type of work. An example they give here is, of course, let's get the weather for a Chinese city and you know that um, response comes back essentially is by using an API um, and that API is able to fetch that data in this case 24 Celsius is the temperature for uh, China at that moment in time context caching very convenient if you just want to save on uh, token costs very important best practice that has evolved thanks to giants like Anthropic also wanted to briefly spotlight here. So for those who are curious, who are asking themselves, well, hey, Alpha, like how do you run this model on your own hardware? And you know, I, if you have a very specific requirement, like you need to have your data private, you need to have your data secure. If you work for the government, if you're in the FinTech space or um, a legal space or even healthcare space, you need to protect your data. So in this case, you can, run it on consumer hardware. Uh, the Excel Labs team have done a great a job here to show that you can stack eight M4 pros, which have been specced out or maxed on RAM at 64 gigabytes each. And you, know, you simply have a, a convenient um, router here that is able to chain more than four at a time, in this case, eight, and in a uh, very parallel like fashion XO is able to run the, the latest 671 billion parameter model um, deep seek version 3 on consumer hardware so this is a very good demo of what's possible keep in mind that I believe they're only getting about six tokens per second being streamed here and you know that's important so if I just jump earlier to this video here um, and I do show you what that looks like. So this is roughly the response you're getting six tokens per second running at about um, sort of in this case you have eight the eight Mac minis and with these specifications you know the cost here is roughly 16,000 American dollars um, and then you have roughly 10 times the um, speed of what you would if you were to use their official API. Of course, you know, this is convenient if you need to run this on your own hardware. Last piece I'll mention here is um, DeepSeek already is integrated into many applications, including Klein here, we including Ader, Light LLM, and Open Web UI. You know, shout out to these projects. Um, they are able to use the DeepSeek API right away. Um, and we are even noticing how well it performs here. And lastly, I'll mention here, we've got uh, Yifan, who um, is one of the, the thinkers of the space. He mentions that the real shocker to this release is not just the performance um, difference between models like Claude 3.5, uh, Sonnet, as we've seen in Ader leaderboards, you know, DeepSeek version three or chat takes second place 
in its ability to um, both architect and then solve problems through code, but also it's a tenth of the price point. Um, of course, this is uh, quite significant in that you know this allows more consumers to access this specific API, as well as it allows um, businesses to spin up their own hardware and protect the data that they're dealing with. So if you're a brand, if you want to use this model um, yourself, if you want to leverage the best of open source to protect your data, to employ DeepSeek for your workflows, definitely reach out to me and I'll be happy to get you up to speed and help you to implement this as well. Until next time, bye.